So, can women over 50 wear lavender, wear purple, wear bright colors? I think so. I love this look that I created today. And it is using two of my very favorite palettes. The one is the Lilac You A Lot from ColourPop. And this palette is just full of pretty pinks and lavenders. And yes, it is in the wrong order because during the tutorial that you're about to see, I dropped it in the pans three of the pans fell out and I probably put them back in the right, uh, wrong order, but I will fix that later. And then on the Deuce palette, we are going to be using one of the colors today and that is that one. The Deuce palette is a gorgeous palette that I use over and over again. It's probably my most reached for palette from Juvia's Place, but you don't need to go out and buy brand new palettes. If you don't already have these, you can look in your stash and see what you have. But if you do like lavenders, I really do like the Lilac palette a lot and then this color that is on my lid is out of the deuce palette deuce palette so <laughs> let's get right into the tutorial so you can see how I created this I have everything on except for this eye is not done and everything else is going to be done for you guys so let's get into the tutorial so you can see all about this look look down and then I'll look straight ahead so you guys can see how this look turned out and how simple and easy it really is all right, everybody, so I zoomed in really close. We're gonna start off with the Sephora guide tape. You can use scotch tape. You can use, I think they said Shop Miss A has some. There's, you can use whatever tape you want. You don't even have to use tape if you don't want. You can just take a little bit of a baby wipe after and just swipe up. I already have primer on my lid, which is the Anastasi Beverly Hills, and I take that tape and I put it a quarter inch approximately away from my eye right there in the corner and then up to the tail of my eyebrow and I try not to make too much of a expression where I'm going like this but I try to not get that float fold in there either that I have now that I'm aging okay so I am working with the lilac you a lot palette from ColourPop and we are going to be starting with this color right here which is a very light lilac color lavender color and it is a matte color and I'm going to be taking a Zoeva, Zoeva fluffy blending brush. You can use any fluffy blending brush that you have. And I'm just going to be loading my brush in that color and then tapping it off as usual and starting out here from the corner. And I'm going to load this all the way from the tail down to the crease. This is my transition color, but I'm going to be using it like a lifted look a little bit. So I'm going to be pushing this across and as I come in, I'm gonna taper that in a little bit so that it's a little bit rounded, a little bit look of the arch there with the actual eyeshadow and following the line of the eyebrow and then coming in to the inside towards the inner eyebrow. And it's okay if it gets down on your lid, that doesn't matter. We are just working with just this transition color right now. Don't do windshield wiper. I tell you guys that on every single one. Don't do windshield wiper. We are just actually pushing up and going around and leaving about, about a third of an inch, maybe less right up there in order for it to have some lightness up there and not bring our shadow all the way up. So out here, all the way up to the tail of the eyebrow and then all the way over. And I will just continue to work with that until I feel like I have it built up to where I want it to be. And these shadows are so easy to blend. You notice I didn't put on any powder onto my eye primer before I started. That's because it just seems to cling a little bit better for me. Next, I'm going in with the next fluffy brush I have, and this one is from Luxie. I think this is a 231. I've used it a million billion times. And I'm going into the actual violet color. Now, this is more of a plummy purple. This is a violet purple. So you can tell that this has more of a blue undertone, whereas this one has more of a red undertone. And I'm just gonna load my brush, and then I'm just gonna tap it off and I'm gonna go right down a little bit lower. So I'm not going completely to the tail of the eyebrow and I'm just bringing that over. So now all I'm doing is doing a transition color, but I'm doing it very light handedly and I am doing it with very, very small motion so that there isn't a lot deposited. I'm gonna pick up a shader brush. This is like a flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into that same color and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deposit this on the outer third 
of the eyelid right there to deepen that up and to darken it up. And you can see it actually looks like two colors because we use two different brushes, but it's one color. We're just changing brushes. And then pull that all the way about two thirds of the way in, almost to the inside of the eyebrow, but not quite in the crease and define that crease. And you're just gonna kind of play with it a little bit, pull it a little bit out towards the tail of the eyebrow. Now go back in with that second brush, the second or the medium fluffy brush, and just blend it in with the top part or the transition color. And then again, I'm gonna grab the original brush and I'm just going to go across and lightly, lightly blend everything out towards the tail. Specifically, it's just a softer look that I wanted for this look. I'm gonna go with my um, Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. You can use any purple pencil you want to. I think this one is in Vice and I'm gonna go into my waterline and I'm going to do one coat first. I do already have a little bit of concealer on, but as I was working this morning, it kind of just came off. So we're gonna put that a little bit more on in a little while here. But I'm gonna really darken that waterline up with this purple to give it an all over purple look. So I'm not really using any neutral colors. I'm just using violets and lavenders. And you'll find that if you go back in here a couple of times, you're gonna really get a better look. Now see on this eye over here in my waterline, I put that on like probably three times as I was doing my eye makeup, which is probably what I will do with this as well. Now to get that color on the lid, I used the uh, Deuce palette from Juvia's Place. And it's this color right here. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but that is the prettiest duochrome color. It's so beautiful. So I am going to lift that with my finger first and I'm gonna put a lot on my finger and then I'm going to take my spray, which is the Seal the Deal Hydrating Spray from Flower Beauty and I'm gonna spray my finger. And I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and then I'm gonna pat that across the lid. What that does is it helps to seal in that color and also helps give it some vibrancy. And I think this is such a beautiful color of purple, lavender. So it picks up some pink, but it also picks up all that purple goodness that you're wanting on this look. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful dual chrome color. And you can see how it just reflects the light so well. And I just sit here and I just kind of blend with my finger a little bit. And then I'll go back in and I'll grab my brush and I'll just bring that across a little bit just to blend it a little bit more but the colors almost just blend themselves because between ColourPop and Juvia's Place, you've just got such beautiful formulas. All right, one more time, I'm gonna go into that waterline and I'm gonna deepen it up again. Like I said, I do this a couple of times. I'm gonna take the tape off and with that corner color, I'm going to take my original fluffy brush and I'm just gonna soften that ever so slightly. Okay, so once you get that softened, then take your eyeliner again and go on about the outer third of your eye, connecting the under eye right here with the lid part. Then take a pencil brush, this one is from ColourPop, and go back into that color that you had and just pick up a bunch of that color and then you're gonna put that underneath your eyes. I bring that in almost all the way. And then I'm going to take a flat paddle brush and I am just going to go back into the color in the Juvia's Place palette and I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit. I don't want too much, but I do want this to go in the inner corner as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda just be connecting the eyelid to that inner corner. And there is the look. So, so it is not complicated. It is a pretty simple look. I'm going to touch up that concealer right there. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on the top and some mascara because it takes me a long time to do all those and I will list a tutorial for all those things for you guys so that you can see what I do. But right now I'm gonna just go take care of that and I'll be back to talk about the simple spring lavender look. Okay you guys, so there is the finished look and I will look down so you can see what it looks like and to this side a little bit. I love wearing lavender. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna pan you out just a little bit. 
Also what I did was I touched up my lip gloss. I used the NYX and I think this one is in meringue and it's just the prettiest pink and it's such a pretty color for spring and I just really love it. I've been absolutely loving all of my NYX glosses, kind of revisiting them with just a lip liner and then using that. So that's a very simple spring look. Um, I think very wearable. Maybe you want to kind of tone it down. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy these palettes. They are really nice. They are some of my favorites, but just kind of look through your stash and see if you can match it. That's really kind of nice to be able to do that. That's what I've been doing lately with my makeup. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I would really appreciate that. Hope everybody is doing really, really well. Thank you very much for tuning in to me today and let me know what you think about this look. And if there are other spring looks that you would like to be able to see, I would like to know that as well. Love you all very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.